Will you expect any any players back? I mean, Amber back, given that he's not in the captain anymore. Yeah, uh, Sufian will return Saturday in the in the training. Yes, and um, uh, Ty and Mason Mount. Uh, I don't expect them back, but Victor Lindelof. Um, I think he's he's on his way back. Yesterday he trained with the team. We have to see how far he is. Simon. Eric, um, the transfer window is closed now. A number of players have gone out on loan. You've been unable to sign a, a striker after Martial's injury. Are you confident you have the strength in the squad to achieve what you need to and want to achieve this season? Uh, so I think there's not um, not a secret. I wanted the striker extra eh, because with the injury of Martial, uh, we don't have really their backup. And but yeah, it was it was not possible eh? uh, because we have to uh, match the FFP rules. What, what can a more what can Amari Forsen offer? No, we have Omar, we have uh, Amadiallo. No, of course we have Resford who can play there. But I think for the rest, all the positions are occupied. But yeah, uh, we have to be a little bit creative. It's up to the number nine position. Sorry, sorry to miss this point. Did you mention Armand Saka in the injury update? Um, yeah, sorry, no. Um, he's also on his way back and he could be available, but I don't think he will make it for Sunday. But I'm, uh, I'm not sure in this moment. What is the injury? Oh, there is, um, there is a problem in his leg. What sort of problem? No, it's <laughs> personal, you know, eh? Sorry. Uh, uh, Martinez had a bit of ice on his foot at the end. Is there anything that's a concern there, or is it just a precaution? It was precaution that I, I took him off um, because actually I had to uh, sub um, Rasmus Holland because um, uh, he was he was dead <laughs> with all his running, and uh, then we needed an extra header. Uh, but also I think for Licha he uh, is of course a long way out, and but we brought. Um, Harry McQuaid on as an extra header and Omari down for, for Rasmus. And just on Casemiro, sorry, he, he, you took him off after you gave away the penalty, um, disputable penalty, but um, was that a concern, the booking that you got early on and you sort of seemed to have a conversation with him but then hugged afterwards, all okay? No, so also uh, he has to catch up as well um, and, and from Casa, uh, I know the more games he's going to play, or the better he will be, uh, but yeah, he needs, he needs uh, so game minutes, uh, that is what he takes uh, the most benefit from. But uh, on that moment, I think um, yeah, with another foul, maybe he, he would send off. So we couldn't take the risk. Well, can I ask about Mason? Has, has he been out longer than you expected when he first picked up the injury? Is it that he's had some kind of setback along the way somewhere? Yeah, but I think he's struggling from the second game of the season and then yeah for he returns for a period and then um, picked up an, uh, another injury so uh, of course that's not great and that is um, uh, very frustrating for him and yeah, I really feel with him and uh, uh, so I really want to be there for him because he had such high expectations and I had high expectations and I'm sure he's a very good player for us so but first of all what's now important uh, and we have to do it very secure to get him fit and, and go so secure in the process, step by step, uh, don't force it. Uh, and then uh, hopefully by the end of the season, uh, he can, he can uh, stay fit and fight himself in the team or at least that he can play a role in his team. You'd expect him to play again. It's not a case that he's not going to play again this season. Oh, him to absolutely. I expect him to return. You mentioned the FFP. You're not the only manager who's been in the Premier League who's been frustrated by that this this window. Do you think it's a bad thing for the league? Because it's maybe the rules are too stringent. I'm talking about both clubs in general, not just United. It does seem to take a bit of excitement away from the team, perhaps. So that's the difference. Yeah, um, uh, there are some disadvantages on on FFP. Eh? So uh, so to to make space for FFP, eh, you have actually you have to sell players. <laughs> and that's actually what you probably eh, you have to sell good players, eh? and I don't I don't think that's the way how you how you build a team.